Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and happy Friday evening to everyone, or at least it's Friday for me. I hope all of you had a wonderful week sliding into the weekend, checking out a new game tonight. This is Potion Permit. Uh, the game actually comes out on September 22nd, but the developers of the game were kind enough to provide me with an early access key for it. So we're checking out the full version of the game. Uh, it is available as a demo, I think, on Steam right now, but uh, this is the full version of the game we'll be playing tonight. Uh, and I guess we're gonna be apothecaries, trying to, like, cure some people. But this has got, like, some RPG elements in it. It's got that cute, you know, 8-bit or 16-bit graphics or whatever. Um, a little bit almost like, uh, like a Stardew Valley kind of a concept, except we're not really growing things. We're, like, harvesting them in the wild and using them to make potions to cure people. Should be fun. But welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, now, this game is on PC and console when it comes out on the 22nd. Uh, I know that's going to be on the Switch and I think the Xbox as well. Uh, but I got this the uh, this one's the, the Steam version of the game. So obviously it can be male or female. Do, uh, I'm not going to change the skin color. It's fine. The hairstyle is fine. I want to change the color of the hair, though feel like we need something that stands out a little bit more amongst the villagers we're going to be talking to. Maybe we'll give them some, like, crazy eyes or something also. There we go. Up the color. Yeah, you can change, like, the color of your shirt and stuff here, too. I kind of like the gray one. Actually, this this bluish one, bluish gray or whatever seems good. Uh, the cape color. Same thing. We can change the colors on that. Obviously, uh, customization for the character is here, but it's, it's a little bit simplistic. It's mostly just color color combinations and hair choices, but that's all right. Uh, I'm going to keep the cape we have. Sure, why not? I want to need a name. I kind of... Oh, yeah. This uh, th <laughs> interesting thing with this game. Uh, it has controller support, so I'm going to be using a controller to play it. There's no mouse usage in the game. Um, so if you choose to go with keyboard, you actually have to just use the keyboard controls to move around... Uh, the markers and stuff. So it's it's almost like it was originally built uh, with the intention of being predominantly console and then maybe like ported Oops uh, Ported to PC kind of thing That's all right You know me I use controller for most well not most games, but a lot of games anyway Confirmed we'll just be cryptic. That's fine and be very cryptic. Have this on your wish list, but you heard it's quite short at 12 to 15 hours. Uh, could be. I didn't actually see what the price of the game was. Um, since they sent me a key for it, I didn't look it up. Um, so you might want to check. Name can't be changed later. That's fine. Just pop again. Have to watch after you're at a concert. Oh, good times. Yeah, enjoy the concert. That's awesome. You could be selling a lot of drugs. Oh, yeah. We'll, we're going to be the ultimate drug dealers right here. I should have made him bald and called him Walter White. Would have been peddling our drugs. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Cryptic, it's me, Dr. Nestor from the medicine. Okay, we need to speed up the text a little bit. From the Medical Association. Oh, that's cute. By the way, you meet our colleagues on Moonberry Island. The Association HQ asked me to say hello to you since you're taking the same train. Oh my, didn't realize you were bringing your dog along. Isn't he adorable? What's his name? Oh, cool. We can name the dog, too. Um, let's see. Hmm. I wonder how many characters they give me for names in this game. Let's find out. Oh, and more importantly, is there a space? I don't think there is. Oh, no! We don't have a space! Okay, um... So I guess they're only supposed, they're only supposed to be single names. I was gonna do Harry Plopper, but... Maybe we'll just name him Plopper. Don't ask what his... Oops. <laughs> ha plopper. I can spell. He's not Spider Pig anymore, Marge. Now he's Harry Plopper. Plopper. I mean, that's what dogs do. They poop all the time, right? Such an adorable name. Are you going to help out uh, on Cryptic's important assignment, Plopper? <laughs> oh, we should have named him Rabies. Oh, that would have been a good one. We're almost at Moonberry Station. While you're on the island, you'll be representing the Medical Association. Do you have everything in order? Interesting way of making your character nod. This is a valuable opportunity for us. We're all counting on you. If you're successful, we may finally be allowed to establish a branch on the island. Reach! 
A <laughs> pluff. <laughs> <laughs> I could spell. Here we are. Let's get going. And we're nodding. We're nodding. These games always make me think of like the old Nintendo games. Suddenly, I'm here playing like the earlier versions of like Final Fantasy, and they bounce the same way. Everyone can't stand still. They don't know how. Too many of the drugs they're taking. <laughs> this is at Cryptic Moonbury Island. Ooh, she's angry. Or maybe she just says resting bitch face. I'm not sure. <laughs> and here are our colleagues. Please allow me to introduce Moira and Colin. Hi. Nice to meet you. You must be the new chemist. We've already talked to the mayor. He's waiting for you up ahead by the town gate. The association is counting on you. Don't let us down. Wait, if they're already here from the association, <laughs> then, then why on earth do I have to come here as the representative? They look like they're from House Slytherin or something. Maybe there's like secretly like a, a school for magic here and they're the evil kids. Oh, don't let her worry you. Hey, you brought along your medical journal, right? Remember to check and update it regularly. And make sure to be polite and helpful. You're the association's first representative here. Well, you better get going. Good luck, Cryptic. Again with the naughty face. Feel like Stardew Valley visually? Yeah, let me guess the same could be said of any game where they're using these types of graphics, I guess. You think Cryptic will manage on their own? I have my doubts. But I'm excited to see what happens. Let's head back to the capital. What, were they on the train? Wait, he came on the train just to go back to the capital? I'm confused. <laughs> the heavens floating, is that what it is? Very JRPG with the bouncing characters, yeah, for sure. Cryptic, we've been expecting you. Allow me to welcome you to Moonberry. My name is Maya. I'm the mayor. It's Mayor Maya. This his name's not Oscar Maya. This is my wife, Mario. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. It was me who sent that letter to the capital. You see, our daughter needs help. Our Rue has been feeling off color for a very long time. Oh, good, I brought my crayons. I've been trying to figure to find a cure for her, but as yet to no avail. Not Mayo. <laughs> but with your help, we hope she'll get better. I'm oh dear. Anyway, Rue is currently being seen by Moonbury's local witch doctor. It'll be some time before she returns. While you're in luck, I brought all the finest blue meth money can buy. But before that, I should tell you a little about Moonbury's previous dealings with the chemist from the capital. Would you be so kind as to come with us? Before I explain everything, I'd like to introduce you to everyone. Yeah, they saw the witch doctor, and the witch doctor told them what to do. But they didn't like the song he sang, so they didn't do it. Good evening, everyone. We've come together tonight to welcome a guest. Please allow me to introduce Cryptic. Yeah, how you doing? Cryptic is a chemist sent by the Medical Association. As you're all aware, our daughter has been sick for a long time. My wife and I are still trying to find a cure for her illness. With that in mind, we've sought assistance from the capital. Hope y'all give Cryptic a warm welcome. A chemist? See, si. Never thought I'd see another chemist in our town. We know you're desperate for a cure, but you might want to watch who you bring in, Meyer. A chemist? Well, shiver me timbers. I've crewmates more competent than this ear novice. Nobody from the capital can be trusted. Have you forgotten what they did? Ooh, she's even got a monocle. That's awfully hoity-toity for some podunk little town that's using a witch doctor. <laughs> are you a small town drug dealer now? Yes, we are. <laughs> Only the drugs are supposed to be medicines. Now, now, won't anyone make a newcomer feel welcome? Please forgive us. Everyone's just a little excited. Oh, yes, they're excited and not actually hateful and spiteful and stuff. Now, if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you to your lodgings. Better be a swanky hotel. Something like the Ritz. That is not the Ritz. 
This old building used to be our previous chemist's house. Its former owner moved away a long time ago. Now that it's empty, you can take it over. Oh good, they gave me the ruined house. Look, the left side of it's even crumbling and falling apart. I realize it might seem rather odd to you that not everyone here is overjoyed about your presence. We have a rather, uh, rather a history of incidents involving the Medical Association. Some gentleman by the name of Walter White was here previously, and his concoctions were not quite what they were advertised to be. Our relationship's been rather disastrous so far. I imagine they've told you, uh, they haven't told you a single word about all this in the capital. Of course not, they want to sweep it under the rug. That's what people in high places do. You'll learn more about it as you discover the island. Let's come back to all this after you've rested, shall we? And please, don't forget our, uh, our request. Our daughter needs your help. I don't know, is she hot? See you tomorrow, Cryptic. Good night, sleep well. Okay, it's starting to start to sound like Stardew Valley now. Well, I mean, you could say that about probably a thousand different games. And start in games that occurred before Stardew Valley, no less. At least this time, it wasn't like a dead uncle that left it to me. Because a lot of these games, that seems to be the premise. Somebody's uncle left it to you. <laughs> this time, eh, we're just the hated people in town. That's different. Move your character around freely while you're running your dog. will follow wherever you go. Oh, sweet. All right, we got a plopper right on our heels. Well, he's not allowed to come inside the house. Well, who made that rule? I want him in the house. You can interact with some of the obstacles around you. You'll see a sign whenever you're close to any interactable objects. Uh, when you're close to multiple interactable objects, you can navigate between them. All right. Ooh, I can sleep. Do you want to sleep? No, I guess I just slept. I probably shouldn't. Or should I? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's starting to sound like Harvest Moon, lol. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Qu'est-ce que what? You can decorate your room with the available furniture. Try to interact with the floor plan object to start decorating your room. You can acquire more furniture by purchasing from the bulk and build. All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just the door. I thought there was a letter there I could read. Oh, huh. nothing to research? Okay. Decorate. Oh, there we go. Any newly acquired furniture will be registered here for decoration purposes. You're not allowed to place any furniture that may block your path. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Fit it in the space. Apparently you have to lick it before you stick it so that it will fit in the right space. Uh, <laughs> they gave me a busted down sofa. Oh, what is this? A college dorm? Come on. All right. We'll take the sofa. No lighting. No decorations. What? Oh, and a, a torn rug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is vintage college dorm. This isn't like new college dorm. It's it's vintage college dorm. It's been well, let's just say loved. Oh, somebody's knocking. Don't come a knocking if the house is a rocket. Repair needed. Uh, okay, so this must be the stuff I use to make my alchemical potions, and obviously none of it is useful right now. Repair needed. Okay. okay. <gasps> Sit. Yes. Oh, my dogs were barking. Oh, but that is over the left-hand side with the thumbs down. Open. Okay, uh, page one of five. I wonder if this is like collectibles or something. Maybe it's my, maybe it's my doctory book. Where I keep all my known plants and stuff. Morning, Cryptic! Trust you slept well? Oh yeah, this dilapidated old house with the side of it falling down was definitely not drafty. Thanks. By the way, this place smells like mold and dust. Excellent. Allow me to introduce Xiao, my assistant. Very nice to meet you. I work with Mayor Meyer at the town hall. I was hoping the two of you would get along. If there's anything you need, Xiao will be the, able to assist you. As it's your first day, I'd like you to start getting to know our island. I'm asking one of the rangers to meet you near uh, Meadow Range and show you the ropes. To get there, cross the bridge south, then head east. He also has some things prepared for you. Well, you better be off. Our ranger, Forrest, is waiting to speak, uh, waiting for you as we speak. Alrighty then. Then comes the pizza box coffee table crafting option. Ooh, baby, if we could make one of those... Then we'd have to get like the college bong or something. 
Your highlighted quest will show at the top right of the screen. You can highlight another quest uh, on the quest page located in your journal. All right. So the first task, go to Metal Range Engines. All right, we got that. Mini map located in the top right uh, shows quest objective as icons. You can enlarge the map to view all. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so it's showing an arrow there on the little mini map to where I have to go. There's the map. River fishing spot. Willow Waters Bathhouse. Woo, we're going there, baby. I wonder who's in there. Farmhouse. Church, monastery. Derek's house. I got a friend named Derek. Olive's house. Lazy Bull Tavern. Town Hall. Silky Stitch Tailors. They make all the fancy undergarments. Arts and Spark Shop. Monastery. Oh, we saw that. Chow's house. Anna's house. Vulcan Build. Meyer's house. Dave's house. The Dev's house? Really? The Devs live here? Police department? Oh, they got a police... Alright, that's good to know. If we get in trouble, we can call the cops. Prime Rose Sail with another fishing spot. Oh, the fishing spots are numbered. One, two, and three. Interesting. Forest's house. Oh, this island's fairly big. Ooh, it looks like the stuff down here we'll be able to uncover later, maybe. It's shrouded in cloud right now. Oh my god, you had another game with fishing? Please, no more fishing mini games. Listen, all of these games have fishing mini games. Like, all of them. Literally everyone. <laughs> Please brew me a health potion when you can. I'm a little under the weather. Sorry to hear that, Rebecca. Being sick sucks. Our daughter Megan's sick, too. Stop going around. It's that time of year. The kids have gone back to school. And they've, they've started to reacquire all the wonderful germs that they bring home. Hopefully no one else in our house has gotten sick yet, but it's coming. It's inevitable. Oh, I can roll. We got kung fu moves. Oh, he's getting tired. All right, can't do that a lot. Uh, east, the Meadow Range, West, Moonbury Town, South to Mateo's house. All right. Am I going to cure them with poison? I'm going to cure them with meth. <laughs> we got to set up our lab and cook our blue meth. Hey there, you must be the chemist. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is why you don't have kids. <laughs> My name is Forrest. Mayor Myers said you'd be coming this way. I've got a little something for you. Uh, I just met a strange man in the woods and he wants to give me something? That's feeling a little strange about this, buddy. Oh, don't get closer. That's right, back off. Call it a welcome gift. Might need it because I've got an errand for you. Why don't you gather me some herbs? I'm sure you know how, right? <laughs> sure, I'll say yes, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. By the way, the mayor probably told you. An accident in the past killed off many of our native plants. Oh, he actually didn't mention that. If only people from the capital worked responsibly, tragedies like that wouldn't happen. <laughs> uh, I, I'm definitely not from the capital. Oops, me and my big mouth. Once you're done, head back to my cottage. I'll see you there. Oh, who's this? What happened? That's all for now. Good luck out there, chemist. Why did I randomly just get to see some chick watering her flowers or something? Is that is she is she gonna be my love interest? Swing your tools at gathering points to forge resources. Gathering points are indicated by glowing sparks. Stamina is consumed each time you use a tool. Make sure you use the correct tool to gather resources. You can switch between sickle, hammer, and axe. You can avoid incoming attacks by rolling. Doesn't consume stamina, but you'll all catch your breath. Uh, you'll have to catch your breath after successive rolls. Well, all right. So we have to get three basil, three jasmine, and three daisies. I'm assuming that's not a daisy, even though it looks like it could be one. Oh well, the, the flowers are a little more obvious, I guess. How do I? So I've got. I'm assuming the sickle. I need to do this. Man, that is one tough flower. Oh wait, I can sing with an axe. Ah, little ones. Oh, two for one. Add skills. Oh, God, what the? Oh, <laughs> never mind. That was a collectible. <laughs> I thought it was attacking me. Ow. Hurt myself. 
What do we got? Iron ore? Alright. I guess as long as we're here, we might as well gather the ore, too. Ooh, shrooms! Oh my god, we can expand our drug empire. Actually, it looks like we can harvest this tree, too. Timber! I got sticks. Oh, it actually marks on the map where stuff is, too. So if I need to go collect it later, I can go back and find it. Hopefully the stuff, like, respawns or whatever. Smash. Oh, okay. So at the top left there, I've got my health bar and my stamina bar. Uh, and similar to other games that this may look familiar to, I've got a limited amount of stamina, it looks like, each day. I wonder if the bath the bathhouse rejuvenates. Again, similar to a game that none of us have ever played before, of course. I probably shouldn't be wasting my energy collecting these things, but I want to. There's some good stuff, man. I haven't found basil yet. Hey, hey Fox, are the shrooms magical? Probably. The magic of psilocybin. Ow. Leave my dog alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there bears in everything? Come on. Are you mean? Oh, yeah, you're mean. Oh, yeah, this bear's gonna eat it. Right in your face, bear. Leave my dog alone. Don't make him plop on you. Oh, I killed it. Ooh. Bear's claw and honey. All right, that bear wasn't so tough. He was just trying to intimidate me. I will not be intimidated. What is this thing over here? There's a little map stuck in the ground. Collect. Metal Range Experiment Day 1. I, Dr. Samuel, have been appointed to lead the research team for this area. Moonbury soil is indeed very unique. The Meadow Range area is extremely green and boasts a great deal of unique vegetation. I've observed many trees and animals thriving in this beautiful ecosystem. We're planning to take some soil samples and attempt to study the soil's reactions. If we succeed in this research, this will be a big step forward for both the capital and Moonbury citizens. The land's fertility will increase and vegetation will grow faster. We'll do all we can to see our mission through. Oh my god, it's five pages. Page missing. Never mind. Okay, I found a page. Wait a minute, is my dog hungry? It looks like he's hungry. How do I feed my dog? How do I feed you, buddy? I can't even, I don't even know how to feed myself. What am I talking about? Ow! Oh. Bears. Oh, wrong button. I tried to dodge, but I hit the wrong button. I wonder if I can cancel it. No, I can't cancel animation to dodge. Oh, you got me again. Okay, you were tougher than your friend. For reasons unknown. What the, what in God's name are you? Okay, confirm the mushrooms. Oh! Confirm the mushrooms are magical. I'm seeing dancing little fairy creatures now. Upgrading tools. You'll encounter resources that require better forging tools. Your tools will be slightly uh, inefficient and require you to spend more efforts to gather materials. Each of your tools can be upgraded with the hearts and sparks. More powerful tools will be easier for you to gather materials. Okay, so standard game. I want, what kind of plant is this, though? I want to know. Lemon bomb. Okay, well, that's not what I need. I, I think I've gotten a little farther afield than I was supposed to. Gotta go back and... Oh, that rock looks different. Gotta go back and find basil and jasmine. Warning, path closed due to landslide. Well, that sucks. What plant is this? You're out of stamina, so you won't be able to use any tools, and your running speed will also decrease. Either the consumables in your bag will recover your stamina, it can also be recovered... Oh yeah, look at that, bathos. Basil. Okay, I found the basil. How do I... Ah, alright, so we got basil, daisy... Oh. Keeps track of where to find the stuff, that's cool. Food! Protein-rich food source often overlooked, but everyone loves it. Uh, can I eat it? 
I want to eatify it. This is not my inventory, though, exactly. Greed Bonnet. That's that thing I killed. Mushroom-shaped monster is easily spotted roaming fields. Don't be fooled by their bunny-like ears. They will headbutt their opponent to bring them down. Honey paws. My tutorial. Where's my actual inventory? That's the quests. How do I... Oh, wait. Why is to open up the bag? There we go. Found it. Symbol of courage. Only Moonberry Island's most fearful hunters have one. Well, I have two already, so suck it, game. Bitter-tasting sap. Super sticky substance. I thought I picked a mushroom. Oh, there we go. Eat. Apple juice. Sharp but refreshing. Yes. Oh, that was all right. The shrooms did very little. <laughs> Eating a teaspoon a day can boost the immune, the immune system. That got me nothing either. Yeah, it's all about the apple juice, baby. I really want to know how I deal with the dog. Red trigger? Oh. What did I do? I whistled at him. Your dog will occasionally tell you how he feels. You can see this by the emoticon sometimes shown above his head. You need to whistle to your dog before interacting with him, but you won't be able to whistle for him when he's too far away. Your dog loves food and loves to be petted. Aw, that's so cute. By feeding and petting your dog, your bond with him will start to grow. He's loyal and helpful pet, especially when you develop a close bond. I mean, I brought him with me. Do I not already have a good bond with my dog? Oh, gotta pet the dog. Who's a good dog? Yeah, you're a good dog. Go plop on something. I mean, clearly he's hungry. Oh, yeah. Uh, I ate all the food, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll find something for you, maybe. Possibly. Come on, let's go. Basil. Or as they say in other places, Basil. Give your dog the last honey. He does not look like a happy dog right now. Look, here, you have the honey, okay? Will the dog even eat honey? Is that a thing they'll do? I've never tried to feed my dog honey before. Come on, let's go find this uh, jasmine we gotta get. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is this is a different path. It's like, am I just doubling back where I already went? But nope. Oh, more shrooms. Please. They don't give a lot, but it's better than nothing. This must be the jazz game. Oh, Ow! Stupid bear. Come here, jerk face honey paw. Ow! I lied! I don't want you to come over here. Woo. That's right. Eat it. Taste my axe. Spores. Mmm, those sound good. Okay, we've got enough for the first task. Let's, uh, let's take the stuff back before I run out of stamina again. Come on, dog. Here for touching that jasmine, Aladdin might get mad. <laughs> that depends how I touch her. I mean, it. Mad Max treated his dog better. Listen, I gave up my last honey. I don't have other food or anything. They didn't, like, really equip me or anything. I, I don't know that the dog would have been super interested in my apple juice. Be like, who's a good dog that likes to eat apple juice? Yes, you are. Dogs like it rather of a martini. All right, I brought you your junk. Did you find everything I asked for? I sure did. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good job. I have to admit, I'm surprised. Now that you've completed your first task, I've got a new one for you. Why am I doing jobs for you? I thought I was here to help the mayor. Find Xiao, he'll be waiting for you at the town hall. You know where the town hall is, right? Well, I mean, I have a map, so no. 
Because I don't know where I'm going. Don't keep him waiting. How about I'm gonna do what I want? Quest completed. Was that my potion permit I just got? Uh, go to town hall. GF, is that the name of her girlfriend? Is, is Xiao my girlfriend now? This guy's got a rabbit in a little hutch there. Or something. Oh, that's good resting. Look at the signs hanging on the poles. Which ones? Talk about this sign here? I already looked at that one. Oh, who are you? Bubble? <laughs> well, well, Kelmus, the chemist, the nature on this island is brutal. You should work harder. Wow, did you just diss me? I want to shop. Ba bing Item. Metal range. What is, what is that? Oh. Ew. Wait, is this for buying or selling? It looks like it's buying. Because it's showing zero for all these things. And apparently it loops around. I could just buy everything I need? Alright. Okay. Well, I don't want to buy from you. You just insulted me. I feel like we're getting a lot of insults here. People don't like us very much. They just don't support the drug trade. Bolton board. Place any information of interest around Moonbury, like friendship events. <laughs> An icon will be displayed over the board when there's something new to check out. There are several identical boards around town that you can view. There are no items available at the moment. Can be started with an insufficient trust level or if related characters are currently sick? Oh. I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a sickly town, you know? Oh, that's the sheriff. We don't want to talk to him. I'm liable to get run out of town or something. Yeah, we're going over there. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, we found the best building! I'll have four beer. Stat. Hello, Martha. Uh, I don't know if it's okay to talk to you right now. Everyone's told me not to. Oh, come on, baby! You can talk to me. I'm sophisticated. I'm from the city. All yeah, right. Chemists are expected to help people, not spend the day chatting. Leave, would you? Well, I'm a chemist. It's important that I drink heavily so that I understand the effects that that has on the body. Arcade Center, open 10 to 12. Closed on Mondays. Well, it's Tuesday. Let's go to the arcade. Ow, how does this place have an arcade? This is like a total bumpkin town. Are these slot machines? Are you guys gambling? Come back again if you've shown us what you're really made of, kiddo. Oh, kid. I can gamble. You're not savvy, matey. Do your job properly. I don't know her accent. Whatever. Uh, Let's sit. Now what? I can't play. Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta choose play. What is this, whack a -ball? Oh, it is. Oh, wait. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. I just gotta push in the direction. I was trying to like push and hit the button. Come on, whack a -ball. We got this. We got this. Whack those moles. I think they're using actual real moles in this game. Somebody call PETA. Nope, oh, I ran out of time. They surrendered. Ha, take that, you little jerks. Boom. Look at that. We already said. How do they get negative numbers? How does that even work? <laughs> okay. Well, we got 13. Negative 165 for Rue. Rue was really, really bad at games. Ashley the Super Chat Reaper here now expects sacrifices. Hi. Oh, hi, Ashley. Um, we haven't died yet. I did find a bear, though. A couple bears, actually. All right. I won the game. What do I get? Sorry, sweetie pie. Let's have a drink after you show me you're for real. He looks, um... Are you selling cigarettes back here? What's going on? The cards are just doing a magic trick or something. This game has gambling. I'm supposed to be underage, I think. 
The lighter color was minus two. Don't hit certain ones as minus two. Oh, I see. I was just smacking them all. Well, we still got the top score, so clearly they suck. Lazy Bowl Tavern, first floor. Can I break into people's rooms? I can. Can I steal their furniture? My place is very sparse. Totally want to rummage through their stuff. I don't think it's going to let me. This game just does not properly support kleptomania. Purple was plus five, was it? Purple, purple, is this the demo or the full game? This is the full game. The developer provided me with a code a little bit ahead of time so we could check it out. The full version of the game comes out on the 22nd of September. Uh, though the demo is available on Steam right now. Canvas right, show me you're good enough, then we'll speak. All right. I mean, I'm not supposed to be in here anyway. Maybe I should leave. Can't help myself. We got like a whole brewing setup back, back here. Can't handle my strongest potion. We're watching you. Mind how you behave. Wow. I'm insulted. Door is locked. Oh, you people suck. Town hall, eight o'clock to fifteen hundred. Wow. That's even worse than bankers' hours, man. They close at three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, we'll have to come back tomorrow. Or we can sit there until opening. <laughs> Box is strong against the gambling urge. Well, I already got the high score. I don't know that it actually accomplished anything. Sorry for giving me the pleasure of the whack-a-mole. It's Plopper's house. Oh, good Plopper. Who's a good dog? Oh, oh, sorry. I Oh, that was a bait and switch. <laughs> I got his attention and then ran away. I'm like, hee hee hee, take that dog. All right, let's sleep. Why does the character look like they're constantly doing squats while standing still? Even your dog does it. That's a bit over. It's, uh, it's this, you know, it's that JRPG kind of thing. They, they've all got that, like, bounciness going on. Look at this super comfy couch here, though. She wish you had one of those. So you could throw it in the garbage or something. Pass the flag. What, this flag? Teleport? No, oh, I says pardon? Where's the other teleport flags? Can I just pick a place and go? No, I can't. I gotta, I gotta teleport to another flag, I would assume. Like, if I wanted to go here. No, that's a bulletin board. Can I teleport to the forest from here? No. Huh. Well, maybe that's something I have to find and unlock. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, teleport flags. That's interesting. These 2D, 3D graphics are throwing me off. I thought that was on my level, but it was above me. Oh, who, who are you? Runeheart. Here's a spoiled graduate from the capital. All titled, no skill. That's awfully mean. Come back again after you've shown us what you're really made of, kiddo. Oh my god, what time is it? 6.50. Ugh. Fine. We'll sit here. Come on, Mayor, open the door. I got business to do something or other with things. Can't spell. I heard spelling's optional anyway. How's the weapon and armor selection? I have no idea. So far, we only have a few tools. Oh, he went in and left it locked. Um, yeah, we have a few tools so far, but uh, I haven't found like weapons and armor and that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know if there is armor in this game. I don't know how it works yet. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, she's still carrying those cards. She wants me to show her I'm a real man, and then she'll show me what she's holding in her cards there. Right now, she's keeping her cards close to her chest. Like, literally. She can't put her arm down. 
I feel a little bad for her, actually. Maybe we can treat her on this. You're here! So you passed the first test of flying colors. Looks like I'll have to raise my expectations a little. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. And now, let me introduce you to Runeheart. Oh, she already insulted me outside. Her and I are good. We're, just, we're tight. We're tight. And so's her body. So, you're a chemist. That's me. I've asked Runeheart to repair the cauldron in your house. Let's head over there together now. Fox flirts a lot for a married guy. That's because they're all just cartoon characters. <laughs> So this is a rusty old thing that needs to needs a fix up. That's right. Can you do it? Piece of cake. Actually, it's a big barrel of metal. Corey, hi everyone. Popping in to say hi. I hope everyone's having an amazing night. Thanks, Corey. Happy Friday, or whatever day it happens to be where you are. I guess the only other day it could be a Saturday. She's all ready for you. That's a fancy looking cauldron. Well, that's me done. Take good care of her, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. See you, big hammer lady. Well, now you've got yourself a working cauldron. Let's make some potions. Corey, with the five months of support, feels longer, but happy to support. Yeah, it showed you probably two months when you were picking it, but it was longer. You're actually at five months. Thanks for the uh, five months of support. That's greatly appreciated. I'm sure that won't be a problem. You are a chemist after all, right? Uh, I probably should have gathered more stuff in the woods. If you need more materials, you'll find plenty of resources around Meadow Range. Once you're done, you can meet me at the town hall. All right. Now, if you excuse me... Cauldron unlocked. Okay, we gotta craft a neutralizing herbal bomb and a craft, uh, craft a wound cleanser. Okay, craft. Cauldron's the main tool used to brew, brew potions. To start creating a potion, you'll need a potion recipe. You can also upgrade your cauldron to, to increase its capacity. All right, we need the neutralizing herbal bomb. It sounds like it sells for 140. Each potion has a different puzzle shape that must be filled in. Mix and match the puzzle pieces using the materials available to you. Placing puzzle pieces that do not fit the required shape is not allowed. Some potion recipes have restrictions on the ingredients you can use. Follow the instructions carefully to start brewing. The circle frame next to the cauldron indicates the maximum quantity of materials you can use. If you exceed the maximum amount, you won't be able to start brewing. Alrighty then. Oh, I see. I'm going to guess I need more... Oh, actually, I've got just enough. I think they actually gave me everything I need to make the one potion. Ka-ching! Start brewing? Yes. <laughs> Neutralizing herbal bomb. Uh, craft four times to unlock. So I guess when I craft it four times... Then... I'll have, maybe I'll have like a quick quick craft option. Achievement unlocked, the first step. Oh, I've got water things. Fire, water. Okay. Well, this needs to go here, probably. Boop. Uh, this can go here. Uh, then we can go like this. Neutralizing herbal bomb. Start brewing. So you can make them with a variety of different things, I see. That's interesting. Okay, so the other one I had to do was wound cleanser. Oh, I see, I see. So, wound cleanser. I hope I didn't use up all the stuff I needed. <laughs> uh, mistakes might have been made, folks. They might have been made. I have two of these, though, so we're all right. There we go. 
They look like food off emojis. What's this now? This means that first one looked like uh, the middle finger. <laughs> it did a little bit. Wound cleanser. Okay, we got that. Okay, I did a thing. I crafted a stuff, so it did some junks. Uh, liquid potion. Just a single drop will moisturize skin of any texture. Any texture? That sounds like a challenge. Challenge accepted. I'm all out of that. Got a little bit of that. Some of these things. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have what I need right now. That's all right. Violet mist. Huh. All right. So we got to craft. We got to gather more materials and stuff. But we we built the the potions we needed anyway. Go to town hall between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. Get our butt over there. Violet mist, not violent mist. Although... Violent could be fun, I guess. It's like we gave the town rabies in the form of a potion. Pressure cook potions using the seven original herbs and spices. Next thing you know, we've got some delicious fried chicken. Hmm. Are you done with my request? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, well, not bad, Cryptic. I guess the Medical Association really have sent us a decent chemist this time. What, the other guy couldn't make the basic potions? He was too busy trying to brew, like, a, some fancy new kind of alcohol. We haven't had one around here since the accident. Will somebody please fill me in? Anyway. She'll put together a report for Meyer. I gather from that document we found in the woods, he tried to experiment with something with the soil. Screwed something up. Killed a whole bunch of plants and stuff, and they kicked him off the island. I'm sure he'll be pleased. The mayor's expecting a lot of you, Cryptic. Well, maybe I should have named myself Lower Expectations. That's all for today. We'll continue tomorrow. What do we got? Currently unavailable. All right. It's upstairs at the mayor's place. Is it just me, or does that portrait look a little bit like an animal with a wig on or something? The endangered white rhino, it's hiding out so that no one will know it's there. Moonstone. Yeah. Looks like this is the museum kind of place. I bet you we can collect things we can put in here later. Oh, hello, Mayor. Even is your real name. Hope your chemist methods work, Cryptic. Truly, please don't disappoint me. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Will the fight about it? Poison the Mayor. Oh, if only I could. I've got like some weird skim bomb kind of thing, though. All I will do is like soothe his skin. That's not really what we want to do. Okay, so we have no quests presently. I guess we should go and gather some herbal thingamabobbers so that we can try to sell some thingamajiggers. Chemist, right? Show me you're good enough, then we'll speak. Everyone's got the same line. Everyone wants me to prove myself. Hey, you'd better tread carefully. We're watching you. Really? You're watching me steal the weapons over here? Because I could use some weapons. Osmond, we're watching you. Mind how you behave. That's police harassment. I'm not gonna stand for this. I'm gonna walk. I think later we get to ride that horse. My dog is actually the true heir. The true heir to what? I didn't inherit anything. I just got sent here. Step aside, chemist. Talk to me once you've shown you can actually work. I did show. You gave me a job, and I did it. You liked it. You even praised me, you big fat jerk. You hurt my feelings. 
Ow! Oh, that's... Okay, now I can teleport. You can fast travel at any point indicated by this red banner. To do so, you need to activate the travel point by interacting with him. Alright. Well, I got the one back of the house we can teleport to. That's handy, I guess. Eat it, slime. Ow! I didn't mean it. Driving Miss Daisy. I wonder if I have to cook meals and stuff. Since I have to eat to recover stamina and things. And healing. I wonder if there'll be a, a, a cooking thing in this. Eat hammer. I think I prefer the axe. A little bit faster, it's got the side swinging business going on, and I got my fill of hammers with uh, Cult of the Lamb. Yeah. Well, there doesn't, there doesn't seem to be any kind of a uh, damage advantage using the axe over the sickle, I guess. Can you hammer the rocks? I can, yeah. We collected some uh, some rocks and ore and stuff earlier. That one's a bit to break. Different rocks, different sounds. Basil? Oh, the dog's hungry again. Path goes through the landslide. Oh, that's right. That's the path right there. Approval badge one required to get through there. Okay, so I gotta prove myself to get their badge. Go through there. Man, I need a tool upgrade for that business. Come here, bear. Ah! Let's do that time, you jerk. Dog alone. Bear's claw and honey. Seriously, what about I feed my dog? I fed him with love. Is that good enough? No, he's still hungry. Find NPC. Oh, I can have him like go track people down for me? That's cool. Here, have a mushroom. Nice, I got my dog stoned. Bear's claw and honey sounds delicious. Yeah. The sweet sticky bear paw, baby. Ah! Don't you do it! Don't do it! I see. They got a fairly predictable attack pattern, it looks like. If they're standing still, they're good to hit. If they start moving, then you gotta run and roll away. More shrooms. Can't zoom in the map here. Stamina again. Speaking of bears, has Cryptic encountered bears in Fallout 76 yet? No, although I have heard there are some. And boy, am I excited to see them. Why are some trees shining? You can chop the trees down. Anything that has a sparkle on it is something that's harvestable. So like this rock is harvestable, all these trees can be chopped down. Uh, I need to eat something. 
Hmm. Yum. That did almost nothing. Wow. Okay, we need some better food, man. Key items. Real document. Materials. All right. I guess we should go back since it's uh. I'm out of stamina. We can go hang on the bathhouse, I guess. We'll see what all those naked people are doing in the communal tub. Bloop. Teleport. I wonder if it cost me to teleport. Is it free? Looks like it's free. Oh, hey, lady. Cassandra, it seems that no one trusts you, chemist. Please be careful. All of chemists are expected to help people. Oh, she were the one that was gambling and drinking. Oh no, she was just drinking. She wasn't gambling. But still, she was drinking. Who's she to judge? Willow Waters Bathhouse. Do you want to have a bath? Warning, having a bath takes two hours. Sure, let's see what happens. Ooh, there's a bunch of naked people in here. Uh, why is that one guy got a skull on his head? That's a little weird. Sounds about right, two hours of bath. Oh yeah, we'd be totally like waterlogged. Gives it full energy back though, that's nice. We root through the garbage cans? No. <gasps> Sheep! Cows! Found a moo cow. Farmhouse. Can I milk you? Cannot milk the cows. Check. Nor shear the sheep. I guess it makes sense. They're not mine. Cow tipping. That's right. Game's cute. Hey, get the cat. How you doing? It is cute so far. Everybody hates me, but, you know, otherwise it's great. <laughs> Is his name Luck or Luke? It's a weird way of spelling it. People mistake, make mistakes. I know you can do better. Don't push yourself too hard. Who may says, I didn't make any mistakes. Not yet. Mistakes will be made, but they haven't happened yet. That's prejudging me as though he knows me or something. Am I the only one who thinks this looks like a ripoff of Link of the Past? Uh, <laughs> I guess so. Look, here's the thing. This is a JRPG game. They've been making JRPG games for, I want to say, the last 30 years. So you could probably say it has a lot of similarities with dozens of other games, if not hundreds. <laughs> 30 plus years, yeah, like, like honestly, like, this is not new, this is not new territory. So you're going to find things in every one of these games that looks like something else. Oh, uh oh, I'm creeping on the guy. We'll just sit here. We'll wait for Derek to wake up. So we want to make sure Derek has a nice sleep. And then when he gets up in the morning, we'll be here to make sure he's all ready for his day. And he's going to be super scared because there's some weird stranger sitting in his house with purple hair that he wasn't expecting when he woke up. Hi, Derek. He's, he's not even like paying. He's not even noticing me. <laughs> Make sure Derek doesn't wake up. <laughs> we visited Derek's house. Derek didn't wake up. That's a different kind of game, though. That's a horror game. Oh, there's another flag here we're gonna hit. Bloop! Active a mate. Silky Stitch Tailors, where they make the fanciest and smoothest underwear. Silky. Creepy, yeah. <laughs> Don't wake Derek. Oh. Get us from the capital, R. Show me what you've got. That was rude. Oh, can I chop the flowers down here? No. Okay, so they won't let us harvest from the town garden, apparently. This is the where we get the furniture from. Did I take the axe? Who's even? White van acquired. <laughs> yeah. They 
have a nice animation on the hair bouncing and stuff when you run. I like that. Ciao! Please be more diligent in your duties as our chemist. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm just, like, bumming around. Those almost look like faces on there. Alright, where's the teleporty thing that will get me home? Ding! This is the full game. Yeah, I got early access to it from the uh, the developers of the game. They sent me a key to check it out ahead of time. Uh, the game launches on September 22nd, but we're playing the full game a bit early. Is there not a proper quest logger journal? There is, yeah. So if I go into here, I got... Uh, well, this is my task right now. I don't currently have a task. So we were given a task to gather some, gather some stuff, to make some stuff, to think about some stuff. Oh, there's lots of different things you can collect. Oh, cooking. All right. I'm gonna, like, spin through these things so that when I... Oh, God, really? Oh, there we go. Bitter-tasting sap. Bear's claw, spores. These are just miscellaneous things, I guess. All right. I should make it daytime. To sleep, a chance to dream. Full metal kind of alchemist? Yeah, yeah, something like that. The full metal alchemist. Uh, that's one of those uh, anime things I haven't seen. Although I've heard of it, I knew it was anime. Uh, did you do the mayhem tag is doing in Dreamflight? Finale, it is tomorrow. Finale, it is tomorrow. Oh, no, I didn't. I saw something about him ruining it, but I, I, uh, I just saw the thumbnail. I didn't get a chance to watch. Rue's back. Oh, good. We've taken her to the empty clinic. Oh, you put your daughter in that dilap dilapidated hole? Are you kidding me? Come quickly, follow me. How could you do that to your own child? And why is Count Dracula here? Meyer, cryptic. That must be the witch doctor. Here she is. Would you please check her over? No, I'll check her over. Who's this? What are you doing here? Mateo, this is Cryptic, the chemist from the capital. Cryptic, this is Mateo, Moonbury's witch doctor. It's Baron Samdi. What is the meaning of this? You brought someone over from the capital? Mateo, let's discuss this later. First, you have to explain what happened to Rue. Yeah, he looks really happy. We still don't know what's going wrong with her. I tried everything I could, but it wasn't enough. I bled her, I slapped her, I made loud noises behind her. Nothing worked. Cryptic, is there anything you can do? Please help my daughter. What's going on with her? Oh, what happened? My neck feels weird. Has she got a goiter? She has a goiter, doesn't she? Whenever an unknown symptom appears on a patient's body, you'll identify it first through diagnosis. Once you perform the diagnosis successfully, you'll know which disease the patient has. It turns out she has throatitis. Diagnosis. Ooh, what the? Goal of this minigame is to press the input that appears, landing on the right input within the when the box hits. You'll lose progress bar points if you press the wrong input or press outside the hitbox. Oh. Like those Dance Dance Revolution kind of games. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Not sure what that had to do with diagnosis, but we got it. I diagnosed her with a mildly sore throat. My neck feels weird. How is she? I'm sorry, she's dying. Will she be alright? The sunburn symptom? Yes, that's one of the symptoms, but the disease is far more complicated than we thought. Why am I not saying anything? You want to help? I won't let that happen. We shouldn't use any unnatural drugs on Rue. 
We'll let the spirits come and heal her. But if it might help my daughter, please do anything you deem necessary for her sake, Cryptic. Uh huh, uh huh. Cryptic, you can teleport from anywhere by opening the map and selecting one of the signposts activated. Can... Oh, I don't have to uh, teleport from another flag? That's cool. Bruce still weak, Meyer. My advice is that we should use our traditional methods to find a cure. Using unnatural drugs from the capital might have side effects we're unaware of. Yeah, like recovery. But if they cure my daughter... Besides, Cryptic can only use ingredients available on the island to cure her. That's what you think is best, dear. Do you really believe that? You mess this up, you'll pay the price. Or I'm not Baron Samdi. Do whatever you can for a cryptic, please. Okay. Okay, I can do the things. Sounds like you discovered some anti-vaxxers. <laughs> or something. They're not down with the modern medical techniques of just shoving all kinds of weird chemicals into people. Craft Moonbrine. Oh, uh, why do I have, like, the alarm bell going off? Does that mean I have a patient or something? I wonder if we get to run this clinic later with, like, a whole bunch of different patients. That might be neat. We could peddle our drugs till our heart's content. How do I make Moonbrine? Oh, well, there it is right there, in a conveniently moon-shaped bottle. Strong mixture that kills the germs and bacteria that cause sunworms. I'm, I have a feeling this isn't going to cure her, and then we're going to have to, like, eat crow or something. Uh, where's that bear paw? I'll put that down here. Bloop. Okay, then we can do, uh... Didn't get any sap. I should probably have gotten some sap, I think. Actually, no, wait. I can get to two of the left-turning things. These ones here. Perfect. Got it. Looks like some weird twisted form of Tetris. Have you found the ocarina yet? Oh, we did, actually. <laughs> we have bear claw and honey, the ultimate cure for sore throatitis. Yeah. I was too busy making moon brine. All right, Rue. I made you some moonshine. What do you mean I was supposed to make moon brine? Oh, no. Well, I'll drink this anyway. Hopefully she's not underage. She's got band-aids on her neck. All right, we'll pour the moon brine into her throat. La! Something's not right with my neck. Treatment completed. Satisfaction guaranteed. I got her with my special throat medicine. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to go back home to Papa. Is her head cut open and bleeding? Oh my god. I can't cure that with medicines. Rue, my dear, are you feeling any better? Yes, I think so. Thank goodness. Oh, my little girl, you're finally cured. Probably had strep throat or something. You feel strange at all, Rue? No, Mama, I never felt so good. <laughs> it's the moonshine kicking in. Tumak with the super chat achievement. You created throat lozenges. Yeah, we call it moon, moon potion. Yeah, yeah, the other night we were killing people off. Tonight we're saving them. One was a cult. This is a semi-cult. Thank you, chemist. We are profoundly in your debt. I'm glad to hear that. But you... What exactly was in that bottle? It was moonshine. I gave her alcohol. She liked it. You must have given her some suspicious stuff. There's no way she could have been cured this fast. Still lying, I see. I'll expose your little scheme. Now, now, Mateo. Cryptica's here to help Rue. Why can't we work together to find a solution? But this kid's from the capital. Have you forgotten what they did to our island? Certainly not, but times have changed. After all, I'm the one asking for help. You're just too impatient, Mayor. We tried all sorts of methods to cure her, but nothing worked. Uh, and if change can make everyone's lives better, who am I to refuse it? Oh my god, this game has a message. I'm disappointed in you. If 
My commitment to this community means nothing to you. Feel free to ask this capital lackey for assistance. They're like, all right, he just did a good job. <laughs> just don't you come running to me for help. That guy's awfully pompous for like some weird witch doctor dude. Doctor Strange vs. Monopoly guy? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. It's all right, he used to be such a pleasant chap. Then they gave him a cape. Now he's a pompous fool. I'm afraid he seems to have taken a dislike to you. He's a very idealistic person. Mariel, uh, you better be off home and let Rue get some rest. All right, darling. Have a good rest, dear. Yes, Mama. I really hope they let me fix up this clinic, because this place is a dump. This is like those like medical facilities they send people to when they say they're trying to help them get better, but it just makes them worse, because it's like living in a prison or something. Since Rue will be in the clinic for a while, please keep an eye on her. Now she'll send a letter to the Medical Association about your accomplishment. I'm sure they'll be happy to know how things are progressing. Well, I think we're done here. I'll she'll see you again soon. I wonder if we can misdiagnose and then give them the wrong medicine and make them worse. That'd be kind of cool. How am I liking the game so far? Well, we're pretty early into it, but uh, so far so good. The art style is cute and things. Uh, we've made a couple of potions. Treated our first patient, but it looks like we have the ability to treat a whole bunch of people in here. Probably how we make money in the game. Since I just made 150 monies, I'm assuming that's how things work. Oh, it would have been burned on a stake in Europe not long ago for being a witch. Seems a weird switch. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, um... What else have we got here we can check out? We looked at the farmhouse. We didn't go to the church yet. Weird, when you teleport, it sounds like a horse galloping. Oh, horse is a horse, of course, of course. Go on to the church. Currently unavailable. Let's sit in the pews. What if they actually have service on Sundays in here? Can't go steal money from the uh, donation box. I can't. Well, let me walk over there. Wow, where'd you come from, Cecilia? Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please. Everyone seems to have lost faith in you. Don't lose your faith in yourself, chemist. The gods have a plan for you. Currently playing Wandering Village. Nice. It's <laughs> a fun little game. What's this? Moonberry Cliff. This is where the lovers jump from or something, right? Oh, who are you? Zeke. This might sound rude, but you need to prove yourself, chemist. Yeah, literally everybody is saying the same thing. I think I figured it out by now. Wait a minute. Oh my god, there's so many characters I haven't met yet. Why are all the ones I've met, like, down at the bottom? Rue is currently sick. Wait a minute, I've met Rue! I met her, too! <laughs> it's the... I'm sure I met these people! <laughs> Alright. This is, uh, this is before the full release, so uh, I wonder if there's a little bug there that's not recognizing the people I've met. So a game about a colony people with no doctor, uh, and if you look at the town, it's mostly adults with no kids. Maybe? I don't know. Are you saying this looks like something else? Vulcan build. There's Meyer's so Where was the place we had to go to, like, upgrade our stuff? Oh, there's Zeke's tent. I'm gonna go check, let's go check out the fishing spot down here. can't meet them until they like you. Oh, that's what it is. So they're convinced that I'm not a real person until I can do something for them. Sounds like a healthy relationship. Required basic fishing rod and worm. All right, well, we can't do that. No fishing for me. I don't have any quests, though. See what Xiao's doing. Criticizing me as usual. 
guy needs a hobby, man. All he does is criticize me. Hope your chemist methods work. Please don't disappoint me while I'm pretty sure I just cured your daughter. Okay, I need some sap actually for more potion making. So, oh, but you, you talk to me? Leave me alone, I don't talk to strangers. Wow. A stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet, you jerk. Mr. Peanut's the mayor. <laughs> it's a blend between Mr. Peanut and, uh, oh, this is really Emily. Uh, Mr. Peanut and the, Mop and the Monopoly dude. Okay, this place has swords. And battle axes. All right. That's cool. That doesn't look suspicious. Location, Dev's house. <laughs> you think they modeled this character off of one of the devs? That'd be funny. Yeah, I know the dog wants food. Come on, dog. You're eating all my food again. Oops. Come here. He does not look happy. Perk him up with a little pet first. All right, Plopper, have some honey. I don't have anything else to feed you right now. I mean, he's a dog. He probably wants meat or something. That door doesn't open. Oh, this is Mayor Meyer's house. Look at the setup he's got in here. He's got like a whole fancy kitchen and everything. Yeah, he's living high on the hog. Apparently it pays to be mayor. He needs chocolate. Oh, I give him chocolate? The bear paws don't count as food. So far, the bear paws just seem to be an ingredient in uh, some of the potion recipes. All right, that's not helpful, so we're not gonna go there. Let's uh, let's teleport over the woods and we'll chop down some trees. Teo's house. I don't want to go bother the witch doctor. These things appear to respawn every day. It looks like the rocks are actually ingredients in uh, potions. Not really expected for that. What you got there, kid? I've got rock soup. Which doctor? Yeah, that doctor. on first. Tasteless sap. Okay. It's different than the other sap. The other sap we got was a uh, bitter tasting sap. everything out here. Rock potions? The town desk is going to be busy? Yeah. <laughs> it's called job security. Oh, 
of those little little guys that ever, ever drop anything useful. If they have like a low drop rate or something, or if it's just always nothing. <laughs> Kill the creature and knock the tree down. Perfect. I mean, salt is a rock. Well, no. Salt is a crystal. Yeah, mineral in crystal form. <laughs> you have a good bit of energy already. Yeah, you start out with a good bit of energy. I mean, I don't seem to be really pressed for energy anyway. Not too much. I had some apple juice, but sadly it's gone now. That was pretty good for getting energy back. Okay, I need food. Oh, right. These things do like nothing. Uh. 30, 18, 50. Alright, we'll just teleport, I guess. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. I'm guessing in the morning there'll be someone standing outside my door again wanting something. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to what, my, what I can craft for now. Sleep time. Yep. <laughs> Good morning. Some people from the medical association have arrived at the town hall. They want to discuss something with you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Would you please follow me? Oh, it's them. The people who came on the train and then went back to the capital for some reason as soon as we got here, and now we're back. There you are. I wasn't expecting to be able to cure. Whoops. I must say, we were rather surprised at your achievements. I brought you all here simply to discuss what's next. Yes, I'm aware of that. Could you give us a little more explanation? As you're aware, your chemist successfully cured my daughter. But now I've realized that what happened to Rue could happen to any of my citizens. Our knowledge here is very limited. And that is precisely why we need a person like you, Cryptic. To assist us with your knowledge. Yeah, I'm going to spill my knowledge all over the place. If I'm not asking too much of you, I mean, that's literally why I came here. I would like your permission to let Cryptic help us for a while. So we can exchange our knowledge. And strengthen the bond between Moonbury and the capital. Of course, Mayor, our association would be glad to assist you. This cooperation could be a stepping stone for both of us. Our priority is helping as many places as we can to stay safe and healthy. Cryptic can stay here for as long as you need. He just sold me into like an indenture tutor, whatever it's called. Thank y'all. I officially grant my permission for the medical association's representative to reside and work in Moonbury. And I, as a delegate of the medical association, give Cryptic a mandate to help the citizens of Moonbury starting from today. Well, this important task is now on your shoulders. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't discuss my salary. How much are you gonna pay me? Go and do what you do best. I think she's thinking screw up, but I'm not certain. Wow, congratulations. Well, you must excuse us. We have a train to catch. We're off back to the city yet again. And a report to write about this milestone. Hmm, it's gonna be a long report. I might leave it to you, Moira. Come on, Colin, it's your job. Don't be so childish. Stop bickering, you two. We need to get going. Best of luck, Cryptic. Don't you let us and Moonbury down. Now, since you're officially staying here with us, 
we should discuss our next steps. I greatly appreciate all the effort you put in for Rue. My wife and I will be forever grateful. Ashley with the super chat, here's your salary. Payment once a month. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Two dollars a month. It's a raise. I believe how much I'm making now. I shall need to make some major changes in order to prevent uh, such diseases taking hold in Moonbury. But, as you know, not all Moonbury residents are fond of people like you, people from the capital. And in order to make changes to healthcare here, we need to start changing their perspectives. And that's why we're going to use magic mushrooms. Oops. I skipped what he was saying. Some of them may be stubborn, but I assure you they are good people. Why don't you introduce yourself around the town? Oh man, I was literally already trying to do that. I'm sure they'll start to warm to you once they know who you are. Uh, trust reflects how well you're perceived as a chemist in Moonbury. The thumbs up icon indicates your current position of trust within the community. Having a thumbs down icon will affect the way all the villagers treat you. They won't talk to you and you won't be able to trigger any events around town. You gain trust points by successfully treating villagers who need help. Failing on the treatments will lose you trust points. Uh oh. I mean, you know mistakes are going to be made. My name is Meyer, it's easy to remember since I'm also the mayor. I look forward to witnessing your amazing skill as a chemist. All right. Walter White has been given the mandate. We could make our chemical goods. Chemist, how can I help you? I'm Xiao. Uh, yeah, we already, we literally have already done things together. I know who you are. I manage everything to do with community requests. I can assist you by posting them outside the town hall. Uh, all right, whatever. Cryptic, you need to stay positive. Positive? Positively smashing. Oh, it's you. What do you need? I'm Opahart. You might have heard of my blacksmith wares. So that's probably... Ooh. Hey, lady. Tell we can have a drink later. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Helene. If you're into games, we've got some of the arcade center. Tee hee. Oh, wow. Flirty. Maybe people at the pub will talk to me now. It's a main with Super Chat. Trust sounds like getting vague requirements from a client for a piece of software. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm Yorn. I own the tavern. I will pay us a visit sometime. I mean, I'm literally here now. How about you sell me a beer or something? Oh. Uh, oh, it's too early to drink. <laughs> Who knew? It's 7.20 in the morning. <laughs> I guess they have standards. Nobody's gambling all through the night. That's good. A positive sign. Maybe they're not gambling addicts. Maybe they're just part-time gambling addicts. Oh, actually, it's so early in the morning. There might have been people who stayed here and are still upstairs. Yes, there is. Ooh, some strange lady. Hey, lady. How you doing? I just barged into your room for no reason. Good day, Cryptic. Oh, how rude of me. My name's Martha. Totally wasn't rude of me to bar barge into her room at like 7.30 in the morning. Nobody Moonbury is unkind on purpose. Please don't worry about it. They just need some more time. All right, Martha. We'll give them time, and that doesn't work. We'll just poison the well, and everything will be fine. Because they're not around, they can't—they uh, can't hate me anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just walk right into a random lady's room. That's how it's done, right? Isn't that the way things, isn't that the way things work these days? Day to you, cryptic. If anyone's rude to you, don't take it personally. I hope you like the simple town. I don't know. Everyone was really mean to me at first. I wonder if the police have changed their tune. Oh, hey, it's you. Got a moment? Well, we've decided we need some assistance tidying this place up. So I'm looking to, uh, looking to take some help on. See that board over there? Yeah. 
You can sign yourself up there if you want to start helping us out. Don't worry, we'll pay for your efforts. Nice. You can spend your free time doing part-time work at the police department, church, or post office. Part-time work takes two hours. You'll earn rewards for successfully completing it. Oh. Well, how's this work? Do you want to help the help sort goods at the police department? Warning, part-time work takes two hours. Yes. Okay. A specific minigame can be played while you're doing part-time work at the police department. The objective of the minigame is to sort goods into their categories in the, in the given time. Or in the time given, rather. You won't get any points if you put goods in the wrong category. Literally, I, I mean... Oh, there we go. Wow, that's it? Oh boy. Totally gonna do this wrong. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> ah, I did it again. Hooray! I did it! 125 monies for playing a minigame. All right. Minigame, high score, go! <laughs> Not that kind of minigame, I guess. Yeah, it was Dem Osmond, the chief of police. Remember, I'm watching you. Oh, man, he still got his creepy eyes on me. New face, I'm Dean, a police officer here in Moonberry. Bring any snacks from the capital? Please let me have some. They don't feed us here. Don't tell my twin brother Derek, though. Ooh, I know Derek. <laughs> We were over at Derek's house. It was the middle of the night. Mind you, he didn't invite us and he was fast asleep at the time, but never mind that. <laughs> no, he says it's easier than messes it up. Exactly. Were you expecting anything less? I mean, come on. Who are we talking about here exactly? Well, I gotta introduce myself to one more person, I guess. One more peoples. Where's some peoples I can introduce myself to? Yeah, this works. No, it doesn't. I can't talk to her. She's sleeping, I guess. Anybody work here? Oh, it's you. Oh God. He's so stuck up. Oh. Hoping to have a bath, are you? Willow Waters Bathhouse isn't nearly as fancy as bathhouses in the capital, I'm sure. But it's all this island has. Feel free to go in. Just don't make a mess. I'm tired of cleaning this place over and over. Ooh, ooh la la, Pierre. Oh, it's Cassandra. Greetings, I'm Cassandra, co-owner of Boonbury's Bathhouse and the chief of police's wife. Oh, i trying to mess with her. Oh, Bosman doesn't treat you harshly. He doesn't like strangers. Well, he was actually kind of mean to me. Wasn't really thrilled by it. You should get cleaned up. You get dirty walking around this town. I think she was just insulting me again. Are you not entertained? Okay, let's, uh... I guess we'll teleport over here. Oh man, the dog's hungry again. Flopper, you're gonna like, just take all my food, buddy. I don't really have all that much. I have a mushroom. The dog likes shrooms, apparently. Yeah, I tried to say hi to the horse, but it didn't work. What's going on in here? Oh, it's the lady with the monocle. I think. Yeah. Oh, I do apologize. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Your appearance is so dull. Well, welcome to my shop, Silky Stitch Tailors. I don't sell whatever fashion is popular in the capital right now, darling. You may be wearing the best materials, but there's just no finesse. People are still being rude to me. I'm gonna cry. Hannah. Oh, there's Sugar. The name's Hannah. No, you're cute. Don't I look fabulous? Sure, Hannah. Sure. We'll go with that. Yes, you talking to me? Those manners are just what I would expect of someone from a dirty place like the capital. My name's Nova. With enough perseverance, I could fix your strange hair and outfit. 
Rude. Oh, I want this jacket. That one's kind of cool looking. I wonder if we can buy different clothes from her later. Everybody's so mean to me. I feel so unloved and unwanted in this town. Hey, that's Derek. Look who it is! The refugee from the capital! Just remember that I, Derek, am watching every move you make. Yeah, I'm watching you too while you sleep. Oh, there goes the little, the little girl. Come back here. Rue. Oh, it's you! Thanks for your help back then. I'm Rue, the mayor's daughter. Nice to meet you again. I love how all these people are pretending like they've never seen me before, even though I was here for a couple days. <laughs> I understand that chemists are required to venture in the wilds and gather the materials. Please be careful when you're out there alone. Ooh, got a small amount of friendship from her. I can give her a gift. Talk to her. I've baked far too many cookies lately. I do hope Myra and Rue can eat them all. Uh, I like cookies. Go to town hall between 8 a.m. and 1500. Where am I supposed to go in town hall? Oh, who are you? Oh, hello, chemist. My name's Dev. I work at the town hall. I'm the only postman in town, so please remember my name. Of course, I can be a totally different person sometimes. I says, what? He's got like a Jekyll and Hyde syndrome or something? Good day, chemist. Really? I got... I got points for saying good day, all right. These people are easy to impress, man. So, you met Moonberry Residence? Great. I did, I did. Now, let's discuss the most important part, shall we? The pay? Can we discuss the pay? You might have seen that some of them aren't yet welcoming you with open arms. There's a reason for that. Is it because I smell? In the past, an accident occurred here that was the fault of a chemist. Did such damage to some parts of the island that our native plants went extinct. In the wake of this, Moonbury banned chemists, especially chemists from the capital. Ever since, Mateo's family has been the, our only source of healthcare. Everything was going brilliantly. We didn't need chemists in our lives uh, to live our lives well. Until one day, Rue suddenly fell ill. Mateo tried so many methods, but none of them worked. That's when I realized there are problems that we just can't solve by ourselves. Maybe we shouldn't write off a whole group just because of one person. So I brought you here to see if you, a chemist, could in fact cure my daughter. And just as I expected, you did. My citizens still bear the scars of what happened. But I hope you'll come to understand them better and regain their trust. I want to give you this. Backing away like he's threatening me. Oh, it's the blue seal. It's called an approval badge. It gives you permission to explore more of the island so you can gather more materials. I do apologize if this is all rather foreign to you. It's just one of our town's regulations. Your success is treating in treating Rue as proof of your ability as a chemist. And if you prove that you have other skills, be happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level in the future. All right. Chemist, what type of chemist and drugs do you make? Uh, we make methamphetamines. Uh, uh, also other ones. <laughs> I don't know. Looking forward to seeing you contribute to our town. Hooray! I got approval. I feel so approved now. Uh, with this badge, you'll have access to certain areas of the island. The only person who can promote your badge is the mayor. Prove yourself as a good chemist, you'll need to be assessed by the Medical Association. They give you a letter of recommendation that will be useful to promote your badge. Alright. Yeah, yeah, the people are totally tweaking. These guys are strung out. They can't stand still. They've got, uh... they got that music deep in their soul and they just want to let it rip, you know? Actually, the super chat. How much will this buy me? I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, it, it buys you like a package that formerly had some in it, but you could like lick out the inside and possibly get some residue. Am 
back here. That doesn't kill any you. Ow! You cheated. You saw. I want to get some uh, some cooking recipes so I can actually get some food that gives me better stamina back when I eat it. That would be gooder. Maybe even gooderist. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's nothing. We were just talking about all this. This landslide's been blocking the path for quite some time. Don't worry! I've got a small blue thing, probably made out of wax, that'll obliterate this huge landslide of rocks all by itself. Maybe it's made out of C4. We used to forage for materials further down the road, but now our access routes are pretty limited. Hmm. He's like, I can make a bomb. Clearing it away? You'd be able to travel further and find more materials for your potions, I suppose. If you have supplies, maybe we can help you out. We need a few resources and probably a strong fishing net. How about you find someone in town who can lend us what we need? Oh, alright. Go to the Lazy Bowl Tavern. We can go to lazy places. How's your doggo? Uh, I don't think I can rename them. I was able to name them at the start. This is Plopper. Um, so we can pick a name for the for your character and for your dog at the start of the game, but I don't think you can rename them. At least it said we couldn't rename ourselves, so I'm assuming you can't rename the dog either. Hey, you! What are you doing? Uh, well, I came into your bar. Should, should not the appropriate thing be, hey, do you want a drink? Oh, you're that person from the capital. I'm the only guy in your town with purple hair. Like, <laughs> do I not stand out enough for you? Welcome to my place. This is Moonbury's Tavern. We serve food and drinks. We have some arcade machines downstairs. Feel free to drop by during our opening hours. Oh, are you closed right now? <laughs> you might be, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Sweet. All right, Yorn. Visit the tavern whenever you're free. Our root beer is famous around town. All right. I want some root beer. Ooh, apple juice, mushrooms. Creamy, uh, a bowl of creamy comfort food, best eaten with garlic bread. Mushroom soup, uh, premium root beer. Grilled tenderloin. Mm, yes. Waste of money, I'm sure, but I want it anyway. Uh, let's get some of this premium root beer, too. Okay, I'm spending 140. Nice. Jackpot. Greetings, Cryptic. Must have been difficult becoming a chemist. Well, I hope you have a good day. I don't know, I'll have to figure out what to gift these people with. Uh, Alright, so I'm at the Lazy Bull Tavern. We gotta find somebody to do something. I forget what it was. Hold on. Oh, they need strong tools that can hold the rocks from, uh, hold the rocks from the landslide. Lazy Bull Tavern might be the right place to gather some helpful information. All right. Guessing not up here, though. Since there's nobody up here. All right. That was a dud. Now feed it to the doggo. It cost me 50 to get that steak. I'm not giving that to the dog. Maybe we can find some hot dogs we can feed the dog. Hey, lady. Hi there, sweetheart. Are you sweating? It's like, oh, baby. Hubba hubba. This is your first time here, isn't it? No, I literally came in here before and talked to you, and you literally gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> well, welcome to Arcade Center. Feel free to play games when you're here. Uh, here, so play games here when you're bored, rather. Or maybe you can hang out with me if you're at a loose end. 
She really is flirtatious. All right. Don't tell my wife she was flirting with me. I don't want, I don't want things to be awkward that way, you know? So I'm supposed to come here, but there's nobody here. Who can I talk to that might know something about, oh. Oh, psh, now they're there. <laughs> Found them. Runehart, I know, right? What a waste. I agree, Miss Runehart. What are you talking about? Oh, they're talking about me. Hey, cryptic. What? Uh, what were we acting about? We were just talking about the fishing uh, nets we got for the Primrose sale. I'm a loyal customer. I use their nets to haul my heavy blacksmithing materials around. And our police department uses their nets to capture wild animals during patrols. They're very sturdy. Too bad their stock is always limited. I get it. Must be difficult to make such high quality nets. If only they would produce more. Our lives would be much easier. I second that, Miss Runehart. The curious cryptic, are you thinking about getting one? Well, I'm thinking maybe we could supply the net makers with speed. And then when they're all like tweaked out, they'll make nets like crazy and not even sleep and stuff. And then we'll get more. You have to go to the Primrose Sale, then. I doubt they have any left. Good luck. Alright, I guess we're going to the Primrose Sale. Am I got a teleport point over there? Nope. I'm sure there's another one on the way over there somewhere. We'll get this one. So keep an eye out for another flag. Fox be simping. I wasn't simping, I was pimping. Don't even ask me what that means. <laughs> Ooh, a graveyard. Ooh, this looks crypty. Oh, what are you? Victor. Chemist, I'm Victor. What do you want from me? <laughs> Wait, Canis seems to like you. Canis? Anus? You can't see him? But of course, he. <laughs> oh, that's the person I saw in the bath that had a skull on their head. That explains so much, really. What do you think? Hmm? Should I? I shouldn't. Mm. Oh, hello, chemist. Who am I talking to? Canis, my spirit friend. <laughs> Canis, is it like a dead dog by any chance? What does the GF stand for on the quest? I don't know, actually. Oh, hello, pirate lady. What's that look on your face? Oh, I missed. I'm Lino. That's me shop on the beach. Sure it is. Sure it is. Oh, somebody's house. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's the stereotypical house. <laughs> and the lucky cat and everything. Uh, Wonder Twin Powers activate. There we go. Hello, Dean. Hey, you. Do you like sweets? Who doesn't like sweets? If you know any good recipes, share them with me, okay? I mean, I could use some recipes myself. Uh, hey, uh, what are you looking at? I'm not slacking off. Don't tell Derek, okay? All right. Palmer's Cafe. It says it's open. Oh, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Oh, it's Friday. How, how did you get served at this place? I can't get any service. Be grateful that your axe is getting blunt. I mean, you're using it, right? I guess. This is one way to look at it. Eh, crap. They're closed on Saturdays, too, and I missed the time frame for the... Oh, Welcome to the Primrose Sale! Oh, it's E, matey. What do you need? Oh, she's got a hook hand, I just noticed. <laughs> Sturdy fishing net? We're all out of stock. Don't give me that look. If you're really hankering after one, ask Otmar on the first floor. 
Tim who used to make them. Maybe he's got a spare. If the tides favor ye. Our nets are pretty popular, huh? I guess so. He's like, what are you doing in my room? Hello, Gryptic. Why are you here? I need a net. You want Otmer's steel fishing nets? Man, people want Otmer's nets. Otmer's so happy. But this is the last one Otmer have. Can't sell it. Maybe Cryptic trade for something? Need more stock for the beach cafe. Honey and seasoning uh, for tasty corn. Well, honey I have, actually. Here, Otmer made list. When Cryptic bring them, Otmer give last net. Otmer will wait. Wish you luck. Oh. Uh, Alright, we need mushrooms, we need basil, we need... And that's it, because I already got the honey. I wonder if this game has a mechanic where, like, if you stay awake too long, you fall asleep kind of thing. Warning! Can't teleport while inside a building. Oh. I do that. Oh, look, here's the corn he's making. Ding ding! What time is it? 2020. Uh, I guess we could teleport home and sleep. Make it daytime. <laughs> perf, you cryptic, you perv, get out of his room. Listen. Not like he was in his underwear or something, I don't think. Yeah, who knows what he sleeps in. Okay. We need basil, we need mushroom. And then that place is closed on Saturday, so I'm curious if we can still actually take it to him. What? No. What now? Seem to be creeping and peeping in everyone's rooms. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they just let me wander right on in. <laughs> they don't even have to know me. What do you think of how the new building looks? Isn't it great? Wait, you said new building? What did you do? Put a sign on it that was different? Rainer helped me to install some important stuff. How about a roof that doesn't have holes in it? That'd be a great start. Oh, what? Hear that sound? Loud and clear, right? I'll sound the horn whenever one of our residents falls ill and is brought here. That way you'll be notified when you have a new patient. Stop sneering smearing honey on that net maker. <laughs> Hi there, chemist. I hope you like my handiwork. I reckon I'm all done here. Time for me to go. Thanks for your help, Rainer. Anytime, Mayor Chemist. Or Mayor Chemist, if you'll excuse me. How about a budget for repairs? Yeah. They seriously need to fix the roof on this place. How wonderful that you now have suitable space for your patients to recuperate in. That's really debatable, my friend. I shall tell everyone to come here whenever they fall ill from now on. Please do treat everyone with the utmost care. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I trust you. Don't let me down. If you fail, well, we're all one big family here. If you hurt one of us, you hurt us all. we deal with the Mafia. Well, time for me to take my leave. Have a good day, Cryptic. See ya, Mayor Dude. Clinic unlocked. Oops. Uh, Moomba res residents who follow will be brought to the clinic automatically. You'll be notified clearly by the horn in the morning, as well as short strobe light indicator. Oh, so it only goes off in the morning. That's good. You can also upgrade your clinic at the bulk and build. Each upgrade will serve to benefit you and your patients. Okay. That's good. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got a desk in here now. I have a skeleton, because everybody needs one of those for a place where all you do is shove potions in people's faces. All right. Free tetanus shots for everyone. No, not tetanus shots. It's free tetanus for everyone. Free tetanus. Gotta get some shrooms. Shrooms. 
shroobies. Uh, and then the basil, I think, was up here. Immediately by the bear. Hopefully we'll get a weapon at some point. Ow! Okay, basil acquired. The mushrooms are... Well, there's one down, one... Well, it's two to the left here. We'll go with left. Did the doggo get the tenderloin? No, the doggo didn't get the tenderloin. Nobody feeds their dog tenderloin. Unless, unless you're rich or something. Tenderloin's for me, man. I'm sure we'll feed the dog something. Hey Josh, how you doing? Here's a bear. Oh, missed me there. Cheesing it. Ah, he can't get me. Oh, he didn't drop honey that time. Required. Okay. We can play inside. We can go back and talk to Otmar, but he's not going to be open. I don't think. I'm curious how this will work. Otmar. Hope it'll let me in, even though they're closed, and we'll just like like go straight to the quest thing. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I got your stuff. Otmar, say hi. Otmar, don't like chemists. We know don't like chemists. Otmar, I got your stuff. You can like me now. Otmar busy. Otmar need work. Okay, that's great. I got your stuff. Burn. Cryptic. You got all items? Yay! Let's go back to Otmar's place. Otmar is smart. There it is. Here, the fishing net is yours. Hope Cryptic happy with it. Oddbar going to roll, er, uh, <laughs> Oddbar going to cover self in honey and roll in mushroom and basil. It'd be funny if I was locked in there for, oh, look at, can I put the cap? Hips. There's a tag on the cat's collar. It says, Kips, this cat belongs to Zeke. Please do not feed. She has a food <laughs> she has food allergy. The cat was literally just drinking from a bowl here. Can we talk to the cat? That's super weird. <laughs> Alright. Okay, the cat's a character in the game. Interesting. Alright, good deal. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, alright, here, dog. You get pets, too. I know, I know. Poor little plopper. He looks so hungry again. Oh, all I've got is root beer and tenderloin. I don't want to give him tenderloin, man. Oh, actually, it looks like as you feed him different things... It'll put the icon at the bottom to indicate whether it's something he'll actually eat or not. Uh, let's go back to the... Come on, dog. Let's go back to the tavern thing or whatever. Maybe we can find something we can feed him. That's not, like, $50 tenderloin. As I said, good lord. Uh, shop. Let's get a mushroom soup for him. We got a couple of these. Alright, dog. What are the odds you like mushroom soup? The puppy's getting that steak. No! Bad puppy. No steak for puppy. 
by the soup. He was okay with it. All right. Dog ate the mushroom soup. A little weird, but whatever. Cryptic McScrooge. <laughs> Listen, that's that steak was like 50 bucks. A bit much to feed your dog, you know? Oh crap, they're not even here. If I gotta go to the uh huh, I guess I gotta go to their house maybe. Or wait, or was there more stuff I had to give for that quest? No, I literally don't have any more quests. That's weird. I got the net. Maybe I just have to use it at the the rock slide? Nothing's too good for your dog. All right. Close it. Oh, repair. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ugh. All right. Well, I got the steel fishing net, but uh, I seem to be a little bit short on the other things. I guess we got some work to do. Let the grind begin. Moose with a 22 month member message. Looks like a fun game so far from what I've seen. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight. Well, thank you for the 22 months of support and for the kind message. Yeah, so far so good. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a cute game. Ah! I think I'm forward to treating patients and stuff, so we're like doing more of the potion y things. I have a feeling as we play the game, we'll get a little bit more complex as we have to try to manage the patients and all the potions we have to make for that. Um, I did notice that when I crafted some of the potions, it, it, I had a uh, like a sell price, so I wonder if there's somebody in town that will buy them off me. Or if it's just like how much I charge people when I use the potion. That could be a th thing too, I guess. Wait a minute. Yeah. Two trees in one, baby. to tell Fox Doggo died, see if he buys it. Sorry, Tumac, I can read chat. Sometimes. <laughs> Looks like he had butts the rock. It does get look like that. He's, he's holding the hammer, but using his head anyway. Okay, let's see how much we get for drinking uh, root beer. That wasn't awful. Ooh, soup gave like nothing. Darcy Lynn with the five gifted memberships. Thanks, Darcy Lynn. Appreciate that. Congrats to everyone who wins a membership. <laughs> oh my god, he read it, lol, duck. Yeah, see, I do read chat sometimes. I miss a lot of what goes on in chat, but I do read it. Choppy choppy. Got some sap. So what was the other thing I had to get? I, so I need this. It was uh, the net, trees, stones, and uh, what was the other thing I needed now? Oh, money. I need money. Like 1500 money.
to say this membership is like Twitch, but uh, curious, it's available? Ah, it is like Twitch, same idea, keep the memberships. They have those on Twitch as well. On Twitch there's subscriptions, but uh, same idea. Alright, tasteless sap. How much wood have I got now? Whoops. Key items. Oh. oh, wait, my wood's in the top there. 108 and 92 stone. We need to chop a lot of trees. We'll chop a lot of trees. Uh, 225 wood and 175 stone. My goodness. That's going to take a bit. It'll be a hot minute to get all this stuff. Been away from your stream, so a lot has changed. I missed one of the, uh, missed one being the memberships. Lol, but still same old fox. Pretty much, Angel. <laughs> it has been a long time. Although, Ashley took up your mantle of devouring souls when I'm playing video games, so she's the one always calling for deaths. Although, oftentimes it's my death she's calling for, not just the death of the other characters I'm managing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, so don't worry. In your absence, uh, there's still, uh, still all kinds of death and mayhem going on. Need more of that root beer. Doggo's fine. Doggo loves his oppress uh, owner. Absolutely. The dog's happy. Look. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I already pet him today, though. So we're not getting any, any bonus out of that particular pet. <laughs> Death for any of your characters all tastes the same to me. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so before you were here, Ashley, calling for my death. Angel of Darkness was here years ago, feasting upon all the souls of the poor innocents I destroyed in video games. <laughs> I recommend having a spice kit, nice. <laughs> Ooh, a copper nugget, that's new. That's the reason it said new. It'll be a while to seemingly get the money necessary for the landslide. Yeah, it, it seems that way. So it, I guess it will depend on whether I can... If I can just make potions and sell them, then maybe not. Um, but if I have to, like, cure people, in which case I have to wait for patients, then yeah, it might take a bit. But it's going to take a while to get all the stone and everything I need anyway. We've pretty much cleaned this forest out now, this area that I have access to anyway. Actually, if I go back here, um, there were trees and stuff I didn't get at the beginning because I was going to look for other things. An item labeled as new means it's new? Really? Mind blown. I know, right? Listen. People say sometimes I'm not observant, but, uh, you see that? I totally observed it. I observed it good. <laughs> Die, slime. You and your little slimes, too. Oh my god, so many trees to chop. I can chop down trees in other areas, or if I have to do it here. That's right, I am smart. It's SMRT. I mean, it's SMRT. Okay, I'm out of energy. Uh, I guess we'll go home. I'm guessing we'll have a patient in the morning. Maybe even more than one. The fools. Yeah, this game's a little a little too casual for the for like hardcore brawling. <laughs> kind of like Stardew that way. There's there is some combat to it, but it's not like intense kind of combat. Well, I guess Stardew when you get down in the bottom of like the skull cavern, it's a little more intense, I guess. 
Okay, let's see if we, can, if we have our first patients out here. I mean, first aside from Rue, I guess, anyway. Well, crap. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I thought there'd be a patient in here for me. Two mods enter, one mod leaves. Uh, from what I've seen, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to sell my stuff. Oh, this is Osmond's house. Alright. Creeping in other people's homes again. Denny and Beauty with eight months member message. You're so great to relax to after a long night at work. Well, thanks for enjoying the streams, Denny and Beauty. And thank you for the eight months of support as well. That's amazing. If you want to start your like with more combat RPG elements, uh, try the Rune Factory series. I haven't seen that. Don't forget you can work at the police station. Oh, that's right. They earn... Oh, the doors are locked. I think I can also do it at the post office too, right? I think that's what they said. Where is the post office? Monastery, church... Martin Sparks, Derek's house, farmhouse. Dang it, where's the post office? What the heck, man? Huh. I was sure it said that we could go to, we could work at the post office. I don't even know where the post office is. <laughs> oh, five gifted memberships. Thanks, Sabane. Appreciate that. Congrats to everyone who gets some gifted membership. It's in the town hall. Oh, right. Literally in the town hall. Alright. I'm not sure if this is any closer or not. There's gotta be another... Here's how one of these flags are spaced out. I bet you there's another flag down here somewhere that I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, you get a membership and you get... Oh, she's pumping iron down here. The tool is only useful in the hands of someone who needs it. Like a tool is only useful when you've got muscles on top of your muscles. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's still locked. It it's 8 o'clock. Why is the door locked? Closed on Sundays. Ah, crap. Can't even work at the post office today. Went all the way over there for nothing. Okay, we're working here now, though. What time? Alright. 20 bottles of ink. Store 20 bottles of ink. Jackpot. Check the church. 125. Oh yeah, we might be able to work at the church too. I know there was more than one building they said we could work at. Is the church the mail the mail place? <laughs> My brain won't work. Man, my throat's feeling really messed up. I hope I, uh, hope I didn't get my daughter's cold. That would suck. Police office has work as well. Yeah, we were just in the police station doing work. Oh, you see this the uh, the screen scroll? These uh, cutscenes are like on the map, but like the interiors of the buildings must be around the exterior where the map doesn't really let you see. Oh, hello there. Hello, Cecilia. Could you possibly help me up? Uh, help you up what? Me? I'm grinding grapes. To be honest, this kind of thing is too much for me. I can do it if you pay me. I'm gonna try to find a helping hand, but I've had no luck so far. Might you be able to help me out another time? Great! Do I get to keep it in the light? You can sign up with the board near the entrance next time. Oh, there it is. Match with the super chat. Earn my like with one death. You could do it. I don't even know if we can die. Well, I guess I probably can. The bear could probably rip me apart. 
course I'll return the favor. It's a maiden with Super Chat. I actually have followed you for a long time, back from when your only tutorials were new. Thanks again for all the funny and chill content. Wow, that is well. Thank you for the Super Chat, I appreciate that. Ah, uh, Oni. Such good times with Oni. Do you want to help grind grapes at the church? I guess. What am I going to do? Uh, check for the minigame is to grind as many grapes as you can in the, given, in the time given. You'll grind more grapes if you control the speed of the grinder. How do I... how do I do it? Oh. Oh my god. I'm button mashing, I'm button mashing! Woo! I did it! How does death work in this game? I don't know, we haven't died yet. I guess we have to find out. For science, Ashley says we need to know, so I guess we better go find out. It's gonna take me a really long time to earn the money we need. <laughs> Unless I can start getting paid for doing like some actual like medical work around here. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have problems with this whole Go hook the bear. I think I killed all the bears in here though. Oh wait, no no, they respawned. I guess we slept. Uh, I could let the, uh... I could let the slimes hit me too, but that's just less dramatic. Where's the bear? You should work around flammable things. You should have blown up at least once by now. <laughs> hey now. Hello, bear. Oh, good bear hug. That was a good one. It was a good one. It tickled a little bit, though. Tickled a tiny bit. Oh, that was good, too. I wonder if it'll make me lose the stuff I picked up recently. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Who loves you, bear? Come on. Give it to me good. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, they do attack really slow. The bear is not super dangerous. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, the dog whined. I overslept. I guess it just sends me home to bed. Ooh, he looks tired. Did I lose him? I, mean, I don't think I lost anything. Nothing to research. Oh, what's going on here? Knocking at the door. No, oh, we just wandered in. Probably gonna tell me about how I die. <laughs> Hey, how you feeling now? You passed out yesterday, do you remember? <laughs> you pushed yourself too hard, you know? Well, I was hugging a bear. I found you lying there unconscious, so I carried you back home. Remember to take a break and don't get to bed too late, alright? Oh, it's literally the same mechanism as in a bunch of these other games. Awesome in the super chat. Looks like I came over uh, from Nate just in time. <laughs> just in time for me to bear hug the bear. Take this with you. Oh, give me a sword. Give me a sword. Not much, but I cooked it up myself. Hope it'll go some way towards helping you retain your strength. The around was it steroids? He cooked up steroids, didn't he? Name is Forest and found you in a forest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I got myself to. Oh, there it is. Passed out. Look at the poor dog looking at me. Besides your health depleting, it may also pass out if you stay out too late. Moonberry's rangers will bring you home, but you'll start the next day later than usual. Oh yeah, it's noon already. Okay. So, typical mechanism there. Nothing uh, nothing super special. Yeah, fox the dog. Okay, I need stuff. Uh, I want to go and see if I can sell to the ranger hut there. I don't think I can. I think they. I think it was only letting me buy, but it'd be nice if they would buy potions off me. They're literally closed. Dang it. Closed on Sundays. Wait, it's Sunday. Didn't it say it was Monday when I woke up? It was already Sunday. Hello, Bubble. Hi, I'm Bubble, one of Moonberry's rangers. Our duty is to watch for any trouble happening outside the town. Don't worry. I haven't spotted anything dangerous recently. Don't worry, I won't pop your bubble. Let's with the super chat. Dog eats fox. News at 11. <laughs> yeah. 
Trying to avoid leaving the town at night. There are many wild animals lurking around after dark. Oh. Actually, I kind of want to see what that's all about. Oh, they got a little plush bunny there. Is that Forrest sleeping over there? Does he know it's like 1.20 in the afternoon? What are you doing, buddy? Get up. Are you sick? Do you need drugs? We got drugs. Do you want some meth? No? Alright. The day seemed to have not actually have changed. Yeah, it seemed like it did, but then it didn't. I don't know. Weird. Alright, Plopper. I'll give you the pets. Good dog. I guess we'll feed you too. How about a mushroom, buddy? Oh, I got roasted corn, your ideal sundown companion. Sold by hawkers on tropical islands. Oh, right, we can get that at the beach, can't we? Uh, maybe we should go visit there. It's Sunday. What day was the beach market open? Moonberry Beach. Not open today. <laughs> it looks like all he makes here is the corn, though. And whatever the pink stuff is in the jars. Uh, open uh, 3 o'clock, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So definitely not open today. You'd eat fox before a coyote. <laughs> Is your, your 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 taste leans more in the preference towards towards fox flavors? You don't like coyote flavor? Can't remember if it's a freebie for the first one. I sure I remember it's actually moving days forward. I mean, a few times from passing out. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe it was a freebie because it was the first time I died. I guess that might make sense. They try to break in slowly. rocks and trees. Just the pink sauce, that's what it is. <laughs> it may or may not qualify as food. This might be a few bugs left, I haven't checked the Discord for updates on bug fixing for a while. Yeah, it may be possible. It's not impossible anyway, but it's uh... It, does, it would make sense, I guess, if they give you one freebie so you could understand what we're going to have it. Because it's not really like a direction to give it before that. Let's quit the backswing. <laughs> Chopping a tree down on the backswing. That's right, get bent, you little slimes. bears over here. Ow! <laughs> this time I don't want you to hug me. Just because you got to kill me before doesn't mean I'm asking again. Oop, missed me. <laughs> oh, you're stuck, are you? Sorry, I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll rescue you, big fat bear. There, you're free. So magnanimous. I think there's more damage in a backswing than the golden shovel in Sod 2. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I do like that golden shovel, though. Mostly because it's ridiculous. Oh, wait, wait. There's a way to stand here. There we go. Two for one free chopping power. I need to upgrade my tools a little bit.
Okay, it is uh, seven o'clock. What do I got? I want to see how much I get from eating this steak. Little tenderloin. Yeah, I mean it was all right. Not as much as I thought it might be. Little tenderloin sounded really good. It's making me hungry. So sad. How much you're, uh, how much you're missing and going to? What's this now? <laughs> Curious how many deaths I'd have before end of stream. Probably not many in this game. This is not exactly hardcore. Other games, probably many, but no, maybe not so much this one. Beer is cheaper and restores just as much. Yeah, I saw that. It, I, I, I was a little disappointed. I thought the uh, the tenderloin would be like awesome or something. Maybe it's got more healing potential as opposed to stamina. You know, wait to find the other monsters at night. I was kind of curious to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what time it will make me fall asleep though. Is it like a 2 a.m. kind of thing? More choppy chop. I want to see critical hits on these plants. <laughs> Killing enemies and chopping trees all at the same time. All right, it's uh, 21:40. I'm kind of out of regenerative food. Yeah, actually, what's this one give me? Okay, that sucked. <laughs> uh, that was a waste. Well, I can chop one more thing down, I guess. We have a playlist for his first Graveyard Keeper playthrough. I've looked and I haven't been able to find it, or am I not looking deep enough? Uh, I do have a playlist for it. If you, uh... For the first playthrough. Oh, that's a good part. Uh, it, it should be in a playlist. If you look on the playlist tab on the channel, it should be in there. Pretty sure I put them all in playlist. All right, I was gonna see what kind of uh, nasty things came out at night, but I got no energy, so I'm just gonna go to bed. Hopefully, we'll have a patient, and then we can treat in the morning and earn some money. No, oh, get off the couch. It's Monday, six a. Oh, there we go. We got a patient. Code red. Code red. Patient needs throat lozenge. Stat. <laughs> Welcome to my dilapidated clinic. How can I help you? Wait, they have a kid too? I didn't see their kid before. I'm glad you heard the horn. You've gone ahead and made the patient comfy in one of the free beds. I hope you can make them feel better as soon as possible. Oh, maybe the rangers just found them outside of town. If you can't, well... We'll have to take them to Mateo instead. Can't risk the villager on any of our, uh, or any of our villagers. I can't read, uh, can't risk the health of any of our villagers. Can't read. Don't mess anything up and Mateo won't have to come and clean it up after you, you hear? Wow. They speak to me with such negative tones. Like they're just waiting for me to screw up. It's almost like they watch my stream or something. When a resident falls ill, they're moved to any available bed in the clinic. You must treat them before the remaining days icon above their head reaches zero, and they are moved away from town for further medical assistance. The remaining days icon will change when you successfully treat your patient. Spend another day resting and can return home the next day. Alright. Maybe it would make sense they'd want to get out of here. This place... Oh, I did talk to this person. My right knee feels weird. Let me get out my x-ray tool. Do a little... Circumspect inspection. Yep, definitely right kneeing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Neutralizing herbal bomb. You're in luck. I happen to already have one because I made one uh, an extra one by accident. <laughs> it's got a torn ACL. Yeah. 
So you just rub the bomb on it, it's fine. Treatment completed. Now pay me. You might be a kid, but you still gotta pay the bill. Come on. Can't thank you enough for your service. I think I'll be able to go back to work at the farmhouse tomorrow. Oh, I got moon cloves and 195 monies. All right. Seems like treating people pays the best. <laughs> a mystery rash. <laughs> Damn you and your accidental incompetency. <laughs> or competency, yeah. Uh, that's me. Accidentally competent. Can't do it on purpose, though. I get up so early and nothing opens right away. Like, I end up having to just, like, waste time. Guess we can go over here and chop trees while I'm waiting. Lord knows we have trees to chop. with a two month member message worth joining the hordes cheering for your demise <laughs> thanks small fry welcome to the land of the sadistic how do you upgrade your tools there's a blacksmith person in town that we have to go to I guess uh, I'm gathering it's gonna take probably well obviously money uh, but I have been getting, I got some copper off of the one rock, we've been getting some iron, so I have a feeling we might have to, like, use that also, maybe. Two Reapers better than one, anyone else craving double mint gum? <laughs> no, too funny. <laughs> be funny if you could give poison food to people to send them to your clinic. That'd be great! Create your own customers? Yeah, that's good tactics right there. I never really even thought of that. That's brilliant. And definitely, definitely not illegal. You live in that land? Nice. <laughs> yeah, see there's some iron ore there. We should we should go to the blacksmith maybe and see what it takes to upgrade. It might be nice to get an upgrade on like the axe and stuff. I got a three for one. I hit the trigger at the same time, too. Nice. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. I thought I'd have time to dodge. Those guys don't drop anything. Okay, so we have 215 stone, 226 wood. I think it just comes down to the money now. Ah, money. Your money's all. That's money. Yep. I just need money. 470 money, to be precise. I regret doing some of the shopping I did earlier. Uh, let's go to the police station. We'll do work there. Oh, wait. I gotta tell him a port. Time jobs alert me a little bit. They took our germs. Anyway, is that it? No. Sharing is caring. <laughs> sorting, sorting. Oops. 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 <laughs> God, I suck at this. Ah! Good enough. <laughs> Only half of them are wrong, it's fine. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we can grind grapes. We'll go see what the, the part-time job is we can do at the mailman place here, too. So if they each pay like 125, that'll get us pretty close to what we need. Won't be perfect, but uh, we're getting there. 
Oh, get up. What are you up to? Oh, I thought she flirts with everybody. Oh, I thought she only flirted with me. My heart is crushed. Uh oh, look now. Ooh, they're gonna put stuff on the bulletin board. I gotta earn money that way. Ah, perfect timing. Still snow with the super chat. Oh, a new game, potions. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's like a Stardew Valley kind of a game, but without the farming, it's more like just the character interactions and treating patients. There's something I'd like to show you. <clears throat> Chow, will you help me explain, or Chow will help me explain, rather. This is the community board. Any requests made by Moonbury residents are posted here. Rewards for fulfilling each request depend on the difficulty of the task. Keep things tidy, I clear the board at the end of the week. So you'll see new requests at the beginning of every week. From now on, you may use the community board as you wish. Feel free to select any requests you like. Looking forward to working with you, Cryptic. Nice, free monies. Well, not exactly free, I have to do the job, I guess. But it's a way to earn money, so that's something, I'm assuming. Uh, I can accept requests, yada yada, refresh weekly, request for materials can be dropped, the required materials in the delivery box. Oh, okay, that's just out front, that's not bad. Okay, this one gives me an apple juice of 350 gold, nine basil to the delivery box. I do not have nine basil. Washed up rubbish. Could report that rubbish is drifting onto the beach from the sea. The Moonbury community has requested a volunteer to clean it up. Yeah. I'm taking that. Local delicacies. Six white meat? I have no idea how to get that. Somebody's left to get the basil, too. Alright. So I took two jobs there. That should give me a decent amount of money if I actually do them. What are you doing? Seriously? Alright, I'm the postman now. That guy's sleeping on the job. Oh, the dog's hungry. I wonder if the dog can die. Oh, I can't do the jobs here anyway. Oh, currently unavailable. Probably just a jerk sleeping on the bench. Would Mortuary Assistant be a future game for streaming? Uh, probably not, Angel of Darkness. I, I was kind of interested in playing it, but there's been some drama that I've seen over... Um, oh, 709, okay. Uh, I've seen some drama about uh, age restriction for that game, so it's probably not something I'm gonna play. Actually, the Super Chat, feel free to play Mortuary Assistant, know the dev. Uh, I would actually, I kind of want to play it, but I just, I can't, I don't want videos getting uh, age restricted. It's not good. Kind of bites. Be a fun hell. yeah, it would be a fun Halloween type game. Okay, we're going to feed the doggo. I have a mushroom. I love how he perks up when I feed him a mushroom. <laughs> a minute, you want more brown pants? Yeah, that too. Well, I'll play a different horror game probably around Halloween, but I'm just not going to play that one because I know for certain it'll get flagged. Too much drama on that one. With Cory X Kenshin's videos about getting flagged on it, and then Markiplier getting flagged on it, and then Jacksepticeye getting flagged on it. If their big channels are getting flagged, mine does not stand a chance. <laughs> Oi! What's the problem with you, then? Nobody seems to like you much. Oh, this must be Ralster. I'm not afraid of you. This is my town. Don't you try anything Russo's town to hear. Let me... Oh, there's more waste town. Oh, no. Play Bigfoot with an eight? Well, that might be doable. Make it a push. Oh, I get the reward instantly, too. I don't even have to go drop it off. I got the... Oh, I'm, you've got to be kidding me. I'm, like, 30-something short. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, I've got to go and uh, collect basil from here. A couple more basil, and then we can go and turn that quest in. Save my energy. Haven't eaten yet, but there's a pasta. Heck yes. Mmm, pasta. I made a cottage pie for dinner. Feeling hungry again, though. I 
Okay. Hazel acquired. We definitely have enough of the quest already, but as long as we're here, I figure I'll go grab it. So we need to teleport back by town hall. That entire cottage pie for- No, I made cottage pie. I didn't eat the whole thing myself. My daughter would disown me. She loves cottage pie, so she, uh... Uh, who are you? Oh. Oh, it's Hannah. Oh, hi, sugar. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a something. Oh, I got a gift for her? Is this really for me? Thanks! I have no idea what I just gave her. I gave her something, though. She really liked it, whatever it was. <laughs> uh, let's go make our delivery. Give me my money. Air trade. Bam! Cottage pie! Pie made of cottages? Exactly! No, cottage pie is shepherd's pie, but when you make it with a different type of meat. So, in this case, like, ground beef. Instead of, uh... Instead of lamb or uh, mutton or whatever. That's right, where I, was, I am smooth with the ladies. I gave her a gift. I, I have no idea what I gave her, but... It's probably actually that... Uh, whatever that moon thing was that I picked up at some point. It was probably that thing was the gift. Repaired. Okay, now let's tidy this thing up. We'll clear all this away with the materials you provided. <laughs> yeah, including the money? Am I literally just like paying for your labor now? Is that what happened? Oh. How do you make... Alright, I thought it only had one net. I thought it was two. <laughs> the path's been cleared. Now you can explore even more of the area. You might come face to face with something you've never seen before up ahead. I'd recommend you check your tools before exploring the area. Don't forget to check the community board, as there will be new requests posted. Huzzah! Travel, explore new places once you fix the obstacle. Yep, yep, yep. Each time a new area is unlocked, new quests will be registered on the community board. Alright. Hooray! Let's run straight into danger, because reasons. Sure, I'm sure there's another we can't handle. Although I'm a little low on stamina. Armadillo! <laughs> Armored animals. Sometimes the animals have an armor icon on top of them. You won't be able to do any damage to these types of animals unless you crush their armor. You can temporarily crush your armor by hitting them with your hammer a couple times. Really? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh god, I rolled. Okay, so I can't roll through it. I actually have to avoid it. Rigid pelt. All right, sweet. I did a thing. No, no. Ah! Got you. Oh crap! Ah! I can't. You can't hit him. Where are you? There, got him. <laughs> so cute, though. They are cute. Is it strange that a doctor is fighting? I mean, I guess maybe a little bit. I got another copper nugget. Whatever that plan is. Okay, I, uh... Do I have any food I can eat that's gonna... Oh, I got apple juice. I mean, it's not great, but it was something. Um... I want to see if we can chop up some of these plants we haven't gotten yet. So these like daisies? Beaver few. All right. Yeah, that's right, Doctor Who fighting. Exactly. That's a good number of sticks. Uh, I don't have a lot of stamina. I probably shouldn't mess with another armadillo.
Okay, we're out of here. Cool. Oh, look at the fog went away. So there's a whole big area we we have access to now. That's cool. Get behind that. Find more plants and things. Go mess with another armadillo. I had no energy left. <laughs> I couldn't mess with anything. Probably couldn't even hit the armadillo at that point. Tuesday! And he's away. Oh, we got another patient. What does this one want? Come on, patient. Pretty near bedroom, sometimes you have to get let that rug go. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We just have a beat up couch and a beat up rug. I have no other decorations right now. Hello, Cryptic. I was just passing by and wanted to give you these moon cloves. Oh, that's what those things were that I got that I gifted that other lady. Hmm? Why do you look so confused? Oh, you didn't know about our gift giving tradition? I didn't really. Since you're new to Moonbury, I thought I'd share something with you. Moon clothes are a symbol of friendship. They're a Moonbury specialty. People love receiving them as presents. We give moon clothes to our friends to strengthen the bonds between us. Why don't you try it? Is there anyone you like? As a friend, I mean. I hope we can all be friends. See you around, Cryptic. Friend zoned, yeah. Well, we should try to get that uh, hot lady that doesn't work with us all the time. You know, she walks around town all day with like a bunch of cards in her hand for some reason. Moon clothes unlocked. All right. Maybe, uh, maybe I can craft them now. Or something. What seems to be the trouble in here, Dean? My mouth feels weird. My right foot feels weird. All right. Diagnosis. Oh God. God, with the mini game. Oh wait, oh I didn't. I... It's a Simon game. I didn't read the instructions. I probably should have. Boo, 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 boo. Perfect. Perfect. Stop putting your right foot in your mouth. <laughs> you found the cure. Uh, mouth, clammy patches. I need sun drops, all right. Um, I'm not finding anything problems right here. Oh, it's right foot, right foot, there we go. Diagnosis. Instruction says, do the opposite of what the minigame shows you. Swear it's the truth. Oh, that does sound right. Isn't that the left foot? No, it's his right foot, but it's left to us when we're looking at him. <laughs> uh, all right, so I need a relaxing bomb. Okay, so we need to make a relaxing bomb and we need sun drops. Let's go see what we can do. Relaxing bomb, okay. Cures rashes. Been hanging out with the wrong ladies, it seems. Okay, we need a two stack one. Like this. One down. Relaxing bomb made. And then sun drops. Uh, oh, right. This is one of the weird ones. Go like this. I got a ton of these bear paw things. I might as well use them up. There you go. You gotta keep me stuff, you, uh... To hang the wrong ladies and get a foot rash. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not telling though. Can't kick shame around here. 
the, the janitor calls you Bub. Run, Fox, run. Hey, Bub. You look about cute in them jeans. Clammy patches, the mouth are cured. This guy's got like foot and mouth disease or something. Rashes on the right foot, also cured. You're welcome. Pay me, pay me, pay me, big bucks. Look at that, we helped them. Wow, it feels so much better now. Thank you. Thank you for the money monies. care so much about the uh, the moon things but the money that's all money all right we're rolling up on midnight i think i'm gonna call it for tonight uh my throat's killing me i probably should have stopped a little sooner but i wanted to play uh, play the game because it's new getting a chance to play it a little early is always kind of fun uh this game comes out on the 22nd you can get potion permit on console as well as on steam i have a link in the description of the stream where you can find it on steam if you're interested in picking it up for yourself uh i actually don't know what the price is because i didn't look it up i'm not that smart but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and the gifted memberships and everything tonight as well. That's always uh, greatly appreciated as well. Uh, we will be streaming again tomorrow as long as my throat cooperates. I, my daughter's sick. I really hope I don't have what she has. Um, but as long as I'm in uh, decent shape, tomorrow we'll be playing some Grounded. Uh, I might even try to like rope Nate into playing some Grounded with me. The uh, the 1.0 update for that comes out on like the 27th, so I kind of want to play that. Uh, as well. But uh, yeah, thanks again, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.